welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We learn a lot today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We learn a lot today. Welcome to Mr. Pete's Playhouse. So I was laying on the floor when I noticed some different sounds coming from the outside. I really wanted to hear what those sounds were. Can you help me? Great. So the first thing I need you to do is lay on the floor or find a chair to sit in and then get really, really quiet. Then we're going to close our eyes and try to really listen to the sounds that we hear outside or around us. What sounds do you hear? I hear birds chirping outside. I hear the bell of a bicycle. And I hear what sounds like a truck. You know, everything around us makes sound. Sometimes people may say, sounds are too loud and it makes too much noise. But for me, I think that noise is beautiful because noise makes music and music comes from noise. So we are going to explore different things that make music, makes a sound and makes noise. Those things are called instruments. Whether they're loud instruments or soft instruments, they all make a sound and sound makes music. So come on, let's explore what makes sound and what instruments make music. Instruments can really be made from any type of object. And these objects make different types of sounds. And these sounds come from all over the world that makes music different everywhere you go. For example, where I'm from, St. Croix in the Virgin Islands, we have bands that are called scratch bands. Now the scratch bands are made up of instruments which are formed from steel, sardine cans, uh, the squash. They dry out the squash and they use a pick to scratch it to make the sound. And also a triangle, a steel triangle they use as well. Once all those instruments, as well as the drum, flute, and the banjo comes together, they form wonderful, beautiful music that's called Quelba music. Quelba music is the native music of the Virgin Islands. What is the native music where you're from? So today, we are going to make our very own instruments from products that we have at home. We're going to make a drum, we're going to make maracas, and we're going to make a tambourine. These instruments are percussion instruments. A percussion instrument or any instruments that you can hit or strike or scrape or shake to make a sound. So we are gonna make our percussion instruments from homemade items. Are you ready? The first percussion instruments that we're gonna make are called maracas. Maracas are instruments that are found in Caribbean or Latin music or in other genres as well. The instrument is made by filling it with seeds or beans or rice and shaking. So we are gonna make our own maracas. The first thing you need are two empty bottles, a handful of rice, beans, or seeds, and the covers for the bottles. Once you have your material, you're just going to take some of the beans or the seeds, whoops, and carefully put them in the bottle. And then you do the same for the other one as well. If any seeds drop on the floor, make sure that you clean it up. 
Now that your bato is having the beans or your seeds, you cover it all up and you shake. Just like a maraca. Shake and shake and shake and shake. Shake your maraca slowly, slowly as can be. Shake your maraca slowly, slowly just like me. Now we're gonna shake a little bit faster. Shake and shake and shake and shake. 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 The next percussion instrument that we're gonna make is called a tambourine. A tambourine can be found in all kinds of different types of music. It is an instrument that is made of wood. It's a round instrument. And these, the noisemakers, are called zills. You can play it by tapping or shaking to make the sound. We are now going to make our own tambourine. So you will need a round pan or bowl like this one. And just like the maracas, you can fill it with small rocks or buttons or seeds or rice, whatever you like, so that you can make the sound. Then you will close it back up. And voila! We have our tambourine! First, let's practice. Let's shake and shake and shake and shake and tap and tap and tap and tap. Shake and shake and shake and shake and tap and tap and tap and tap. Boom boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Boom boom, ain't it great to be just like me? Silly and foolish all day long. Boom boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Boom boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Boom boom, ain't it great to be just like me? Silly and foolish all day long. Boom boom, ain't it great to be crazy? The final percussion instrument that we're going to make today is called a djembe drum. A djembe drum is from West Africa. This part of the drum is made of wood and this part, which is the head, is made of goat skin. Wow! So we are going to make our own version of a djembe drum from West Africa. You will need to find a large or medium pan like this. This one is a uh, crackers pan that I found with a cover on it. You don't have to put anything on the inside. Just make sure that it is large enough that you can hold and drum with the cover on it. But this is our djembe drum. Now let's practice drumming our djembe drum. Let's drum and drum and drum and drum. 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 Al tambor, al tambor, al tambor de la alegría. Yo quiero que tú me llaves al tambor de la alegría. Al tambor, al tambor, al tambor de la alegría. Yo quiero que tú me llaves al tambor de la alegría.
friends, what a fun day we had today, wasn't it? First, we got really quiet and we listened to the different sounds that we heard around us. Then we learned about the scratch band and the native music of the Virgin Islands, which was what? The Quelbe Band. Excellent job. Then we learned about what a percussion instrument was, which are any type of instruments that can be struck, scratched, or shaken to make the sound. We then went on to make our very own instruments from products that we have in our own home. First, we made maracas, then we made a tambourine, and then we ended it by making a djembe drum. You guys did a really good job making your instruments. We also sung songs that allowed us to use the instruments and we showcased how to use the instruments by dancing and playing along to some music. Really, really fun. I hope that you guys continue to make music all day and every day. And remember, you can always find music in the noise. Remember to love yourself and I love you. See you next time at Mr. Pete's Playhouse.